Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Paul Wieslowski. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the VCU Health System and the Chairman for the Sheltering in Arms Institute Board of Managers. I welcome you all here today to celebrate the opening of the Sheltering in Arms Institute, which is a partnership uh, between Sheltering in Arms and VCU Health. This has been a project many years in the making with many individuals who have contributed. I came to Richmond in 2012, and these conversations have just started. And over the years, we had had various people from in the organizations coming together to bring together ideas. And today, what you're going to see is a state-of-the-art inpatient rehab hospital that will be able to care for all the citizens of Richmond and the state of Virginia, along with the re being a regional destination for individuals with stroke, brain injury, and spinal cord injury. It's a very proud accomplishment that shows that we're better together than working individually towards these goals. Sheltering Arms has a long history of providing outstanding clinical care and strong passion for individuals with disability. VCU Health has a long history of being a leader in research in this area, along with being a preeminent academic teaching facility for future physiatrists in the country. So together, we start this new journey together um, to build this great place with these teams that are very passionate and committed to doing it. So thank you all for your time and coming out today. And I hope you'll all be as excited and impressed with this facility and what it's going to mean to the area and the state as much as I am and all the other team members throughout the years that have contributed to it. Now I'd like to introduce Mary Zweifel, who is the Chief Executive Officer for Shelter at Arms. Hello, and welcome to our virtual ribbon cutting event. On June 13th, we'll be admitting our first patient to the Sheltering Arms Institute. Four years ago, this month in May, I signed an agreement along with our VCU counterparts to enter into a joint venture. A joint venture that came to fruition only after many years of a pursuit. The Sheltering Arms Board of Directors held their steadfast vision of creating a special rehabilitation hospital dedicated to advanced technology, evidence-based clinical outcomes, research, and academic learning. All to provide our community the local resource so that our residents will no longer be required to leave for specialized rehab care. Today, that vision materialized into the Sheltering Arms Institute, a state of the science hospital designed by patients, staff, and community. Our passions to drive new innovations, seek cures, and become the leaders in rehabilitation is now within our reach. And now, I'm so pleased to introduce Alan Lombardo, CEO of the Sheltering Arms Institute. Today is an incredible celebration. We're cutting the ribbon on a shared vision to serve this community in a new way. We're opening a hospital that is unique to the entire Mid-Atlantic region, a rehabilitation hospital with the most advanced technology designed by patients and families to ensure a therapeutic and healing environment. Now people can receive the best rehabilitation care right here in their own community. It's a moment to pause and reflect on institutions and individuals that are focused on serving this community. Sheltering Arms and VCU Health have flourished by serving others. Rebecca Peterkin started Sheltering Arms with the goal of serving her community. The physician and academic leaders who pioneered physical medicine at the Medical College of Virginia were focused on providing innovative rehabilitation care to the Richmond community. Our predecessors shared a vision to build institutions that improve the quality of life for all in Central Virginia. I want to honor those who serve today to continue this noble mission and thank Mary Zweifel and the Sheltering Arms team and Drs. Rao and Buckley and the VCU team for continuing those legacies through their outstanding leadership. I'm also grateful for the spirit of service that exists in this community, which has embraced this hospital and what it means for Central Virginia and the Mid-Atlantic region. By supporting Sheltering Arms Institute through gifts of labor, love, and philanthropy, you're giving others the opportunity to recover and heal in ways that were previously not possible. I want to personally celebrate the team members who gave to this project. They gave because it's their, they believe in serving others. They are continuing to deliver high quality care at the founding institutions 
while they are giving their best to build Sheltering Arms Institute. They were involved on the design process, partnering with architects and former patients to make the most out of every inch of space, ensuring that colleagues, patients, and families will be in the most optimal healing environment. Because of their contributions, Sheltering Arms Institute has some of the most forward-thinking programs and practices in rehabilitative medicine. Team members embrace the vision to reinvent rehabilitation. In this building, they are implementing evidence-based practices that improve collaboration and practices across disciplines to drive superior patient outcomes. Clinical science, community engagement, and transdisciplinary care are hardwired in our clinical practice. To all of the team members, thank you for a job well done. This day is filled with joy because so many believe that every day is an opportunity to serve others. Through the efforts of our founders and leaders, community and team members, Sheltering Arms Institute is ready to open and continue serving. Yesterday, it was a construction site. Today, it is a building. And tomorrow, this will be the most advanced rehabilitation hospital in the Mid-Atlantic region. Now, it is my pleasure to introduce my friend, a former patient at Sheltering Arms, and a dedicated volunteer and advocate for rehabilitative med medicine, Mr. Rick Kelly. Thank you, Alan. For the, for the past seven years, I've considered the Sheltering Arms team in Richmond part of my family. I came to Sheltering Arms in March 2013 following a massive stroke that paralyzed the left side of my body. From the very first day, the team at Sheltering Arms went above and beyond using every tool at their disposal to support my stroke recovery. Their team is truly comprised of the highest caliber of professionals, and they are the nicest people you could ever hope to meet. In addition to their support, I was very fortunate to be able to, to travel extensively with my wife, Kelly, in search of clinical trials and cutting edge technology that further aided my recovery. Unfortunately, for a number of reasons, this is not an option for most of our patients. That is why I have, I have been so passionate about the need for an institution like this in Richmond, and I am thrilled to be here today to celebrate the opening of the Sheltering Arms Research Institute, a collaboration with VCU. With this research hospital, our patients will benefit from the latest technologies and therapies without the need to travel cross country. One of the ways this is possible is through participation in research and clinical trials conducted right here. So I thank everyone that made this hospital a reality. Before I close, I'd like to also highlight that in addition to providing advanced treatment and therapy options, the Institute is designed to facilitate the optimal patient experience. With lots of sunlight and open spaces, the hospital has a very optimistic and positive feel and is very welcoming for visitors. When patients come to us, as when I came to Sheltering Arms seven years ago, they are often facing a long road to recovery and a new normal. Coming to a welcoming space that inspires confidence, that shows that they are truly in the best possible environment for the recovery is crucial. Thank you again to all, to all who made the hospital possible and, and a thank you to the amazing teams at Shelton Arms and VCU for the incredible impact you will have on patients along the East Coast. Thanks, Rick. Good afternoon and thanks so much to all of you joining us on this extraordinary occasion. My name is Mac McElroy and I'm the president of the Sheltering Arms Foundation. My dedicated team and I are responsible for connecting this project's mission and vision with the community to raise the funds to make it a reality. None of us at Sheltering Arms or at VCU Health would be standing here today were it not for the generosity of generations of donors and volunteers investing their time, their talent, and their treasure in projects like this that advance the human experience. Thanks to many of you and to our next speaker, we have raised over $44 million toward our goal of $50 million to make this project a reality. 
Projects like this don't happen without strong leadership and vision. Our next speaker defines one of Alan's core tenets, servant leadership. When you blend servant leadership and a passion for excellence, the resulting alchemy is truly transformative. Whether on the football field, racing automobiles, advancing the family business, or supporting the community, Charlie Luck brings a potent blend of leadership, loyalty, and passion to any project. This project really spoke to the Luck family, and as a result, they have made the largest gift in the history of sheltering arms and have funded the spinal cord and complex care unit. Here to share his story is my closest, is one of my closest and most loyal friends, Charlie Luck. Well, thank you, Mac. You know, just being here is just such a, such a treat, such an honor, and um, frankly, it's really moving, having seen it start from the very beginning. My son Richard went to Virginia Military Institute, and one of his best friends was a guy named Dallas Disbro. And Dallas was on the VMI diving team and set numerous records. And on Memorial Day of 2016, Dallas dove off a pier in Ocean City, Maryland. He thought the water was deep. It was not. He suffered a C5 spinal cord injury. Today, while Dallas is wheelchair bound most of the time, he has been a true inspiration to so many of us. You all, this guy is energy, enthusiasm, entrepreneurialism, and he's a board member on the United Spinal Metro DC chapter. He's also led wheelchair basketball tournaments in Georgetown. And recently, he sent a girl to Los Angeles for a wheelchair dance competition, which changed her life. So this is a bit of our background, Lisa, my wife, my background. So fast forward to our first, I would say, exposure to this concept here, the Sheltering Arms Institute. And Lisa and I were immediately captivated by what was going on here, by the technology, by the sophistication, by the quality of life, and how this place was gonna change lives forever and change lives for people that aren't even born yet. So Lisa, Richard, Sarah, Margaret, and myself, we all thought it was only fitting that one of the spaces here in this building would be named to honor Dallas, and it would be called the Sheltering Arms Dallas Disbro Ability Center. Not disability, ability. Because you see, that's what Dallas is all about, is what are the abilities that he's been able to, to imagine and become since his spinal cord injury, and that's what this place is all about. So we are absolutely thrilled. We believe in the, in the leadership of everybody here at this location, and especially all the talented people like Alan and Mac and the rest of the team here that are doing a phenomenal job. We can only look forward to an incredibly bright future. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, the Luck family, along with Dallas Disro, will forever represent the passion and commitment that Sheltering Arms Institute has for our community. Now I'd like to ask all of you out there to join us outside for the ribbon cutting. And now, is everyone ready for the big moment? Yeah! Woo! Come on! <laughs> Now that we've cut the ribbon for the Sheltering Arms Institute, I'm delighted to take you on a tour of the facility. And the first stop is our Center of Rehabilitation Excellence. And I'd like to take you into the main gym and introduce you to our Chief Rehabilitation Officer, Matt Wilkes. Matt? Welcome to the Core Therapy Gym. This is a place where much of the magic happens. We've designed this building to be a therapy tool. So let me show you around some of the spaces. We've uh, packed in technology that we don't find anywhere else in the world into this rehab space to produce the very best possible outcome for everyone who needs our help and services. For example, 
This piece of technology right here comes from Europe and is designed to be a three-dimensional body weight support system so someone can move anywhere within this rectangular space, can interact with real world objects, practice uh, uh, real tasks that are uh, safe in this environment so that they're, they're made lighter and they're capable of doing more and they can accelerate their outcome. If we come this way, then we're able to see uh, some of these ceiling mounted track systems. These are designed to allow people to experience almost uh, weightless movement or effortless movement around the space along these tracks that you see on the floor. We even designed one of them to go into this ADL suite. This ADL suite is where people would practice real world tasks at a kitchen counter, cooking, uh, doing things uh, in a bedroom or in uh, a laundry room or bathroom. So we've taken this technology and deployed it into some really interesting spaces to help accelerate and make possible the very best outcome. Uh, this is our uh, rehabilitation robotics area where walking will be practiced as well as uh, arm function recovery. So this is, the, this is the place to come. If you're looking for the very best outcome for uh, yourself or for a family member, we've, uh, we've thought about it. In fact, we have really large staff therapeutic recreation specialists because we know that people like to do things that are enjoyable. We all want to be able to do those uh, leisure activities that we like. Uh, so we have a, a, a large staff that's dedicated to, to helping restore those functions, those abilities. Um, the other very exciting thing is we've built in a lot of uh, research space so that we're trying to integrate uh, the uh, clinical research with the clinical care that happens so that we're studying the very best of what's possible in rehabilitation and bringing that to our Richmond community. And the reason that's such a big deal is that everyone that is restored to maximum function within our community enriches our community. So that is possible right here in Richmond. And so I'd like to introduce you to my colleague, Dr. Amber Walter, who's our clinical science manager. She works with a team of clinicians to really determine what the best and most effective interventions are. We're really excited about the Clinical Science Department at Sheltering Arms Institute. It represents our commitment to the value of discovery. In this space here, we'll have clinicians and researchers collaborating to work on research questions, inventions, and plans to make patients' lives better. In traditional rehabilitation research, it can take 17 years for research findings to enter clinical practice, but our teams are going to make sure it can happen in as few as three years and reach more people, and that will really make a difference. All right, everyone, now that we've seen the main rehab gym and the research area, let's head on up to the patient floors. All right, now we're on the third floor of Sheltering Arms Institute. This is home to the brain injury unit and the spinal cord injury complex care units. But as you can see out here in the lobby, this space was designed with family members in mind. You can wait here to meet with your loved one. There's a lot of open space and natural light. Welcome everyone to the brain injury unit. And I would like to introduce you to our chief medical officer, Dr. Rick Coons. Hi, so we're here in the satellite gym on our brain injury unit. This is a unique gym uh, in the sense that our, our brain injury unit is secure and allows us uh, to treat patients who may have cognitive impairments after brain injury and are very sensitive uh, to environmental stimuli, noise, excessive light, uh, things of that nature. So this, this unit allows us to treat that subpopulation of patients in an environment that's much safer for them uh, where they're less likely to be overwhelmed by uh, the sort of pedestrian and foot traffic that may be uh, common on other units because this building does in fact have a very community oriented structure. We expect families uh, with, with their loved ones who are receiving treatment here. And this unit is able to a little bit better accommodate uh, folks who, who may not, uh, who may benefit from a, a more secure and qu more quiet environment. We are now on the spinal cord injury complex care unit and I would like to introduce you to our nurse manager, Kimmy Fakobuja. Thank you, Alan. Welcome to the spinal cord injury and complex care unit. Here we serve a variety of patients with different medical issues. These issues are 
that are included include heart and cardiac issues, lung issues, issues with nutrition, and overall, overall mobility issues. Of course, we serve patients with high-level spinal cord issues as well. Here at Shelter and Arms Institute, we believe, we believe in servant leadership. And you can rest assured as a patient that everyone here is dedicated to the highest level of success for all of our patients. And also, our nurses are highly trained, most of which have their certified rehab registered nurse license. That means that they have the best knowledge and how to take care of rehab patients. Also, Shelter and Arms encourages staff to continue their education. So you also will have a high variety of staff members who are dedicated to the most innovative practices in rehab. And also welcome to our family room. In this room, you see there is a microwave, a TV, a refrigerator, and a cozy couch. So here you have the luxury of being in an intimate setting with your loved ones. It's just the same as if you were sitting in front of your own TV at home. Welcome everyone. We are now on the second floor. This is our multi-specialty rehab center and I would like to introduce you to our chief nursing officer, Misty Woodward. Hello guys, I get to show you guys um, in the patient room. Um, we have 114 private rooms for our patients and their families. Um, very purposeful in the design of these rooms, very spacious. Um, my favorite part of the room is the picture window where you can see uh, all the natural light. Um, you see here we have brand new striker beds uh, that are very comfortable for patients. Uh, we also have some really awesome uh, technology here within our linens. It's a copper embedded technology for um, infection control purposes. We have some comfortable furniture here for our patients' family members when they're here visiting. Uh, flat screen TVs in all of our patient rooms. Um, you'll see in the ceiling there is a lift and this is utilized uh, to keep not only the patient safe but also our staff safe as they're uh, maneuvering the patient around the room. And then you'll see each room has a very spacious bathroom as well um, so that patients can easily move around um, in the bathroom uh, when they're um, taking care of their therapy. I'm now going to take you to the stroke unit. Here we are on the stroke unit, and I'm going to introduce you to our stroke program manager, Melissa Banta. Hi. Research shows that when patients who have had a stroke participate in rehab in an organized and dedicated stroke unit, they have better outcomes. Here at Shelter and Arms Institute, we have the largest stroke unit in the state of Virginia. I'd like to show you some of the features. This community room is just one of those features. Patients will eat here. Um, they'll receive all of their meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in this community space. They'll be able to get to know each other and support each other while participating in a rehab program. Another feature here on the unit is the Bioness Vector bodyweight support system. You can see it here in the ceiling. It uses bodyweight support so that patients can recover their walking ability while staying safe. It allows patients to recover faster and participate in rehab throughout their day with nurses, therapists, and family members supporting them. One thing that's important to us is that patients can participate in their rehab throughout the day in all parts of the hospital. We have gyms located on the unit so that patients can be here close to their medical team if needed. Our team of expert level clinicians, including board certified specialists and specialists in walking recovery, arm recovery and wheelchair and positioning work together with the rest of the team to provide the best possible care to every single patient that we see. Another way we do that is we do walking rounds where the whole team actually goes to every patient's room so that the patient and their family can participate in decisions regarding their care. As patients leave the Sheltering Arms Institute, we recognize that the rehabilitation process does not end there. We want to make sure you optimize your healing as you re-enter the community. And now I'd like to introduce you to our Community Engagement Manager, Allison Clark. We know that patients make great progress here and as they leave the doors of Sheltering Arms Institute, we really want to make sure that we stay connected with them over time and we connect our patients with our community partners that really will support their active um, life and return to their community. So we're doing that in a couple of ways. We're bringing our agencies into our hospital so our patients can meet these community partners earlier in their length of stay. And then we're also staying in contact with our patients over time. So 
be returning our patients to Sheltering Arts Institute for some uh, education programs and resources so we can really help meet their needs and their resources at the right time in their healing and recovery. We want our patients to be able to return to an active lifestyle um, in managing their healing and recovery. And it is our goal really to stay connected with our patients over time. We want them to see us as a community resource for them to help them in their healing and recovery across their journey. Thank you for joining us today for our ribbon cutting and the tour of the new Sheltering Arms Institute. We look forward to partnering with you to reinvent rehabilitation for members of your community. Take care.